Welcome to this month's uh, edition of Chemical of the Month. We're shooting from uh, the uh, Guardian Center in Perry, Georgia. Um, I'm Milton. And I'm Todd. We're ready to kick this thing off? Let's yeah. go on a call, Todd. All Let's right. go on a call. Hey, so uh, our call is going to come in to a uh, plating facility, and uh, they're giving us the name of hydrogen cyanide. Hydrogen cyanide. Yeah, yeah. Wow. As a... Uh, Wow. As a product that's been spilled. Wow. All right. Well, let's start where we always start. Yep. Char 2, hydrogen, hydrogen. Only H is hafnium, not hydrogen. Yep. So we're going above the line. Yes, sir. Above the line. So gas, yes on VP vapor pressure, 300 foot hot zone, heavier than air, toxic in parts per million, PID, FID, yes, flammable. Corrosive, acid, fluorine, even though I'm hearing the name, reactive, yes on polymerized, water and air reactive, radioactive, continue to chart three. So let's go to chart three. So in route, we hear the name hydrogen cyanide. I mean, I, that, I, it, for it, everybody, that's an attention yeah, getter. If I had hair, it would stand up on yes. end and, and it would be at attention. You're like, all right, so this is the big one, right? This right. is the one that everybody get, gets hurt on. All right. All right. So top left box on chart three, flammable syllables, hydrogen cyanide, hydrogen. Nothing from hydrogen, nothing from cyanide. So we can't go left. All right, Todd, I'm going to first name corrosive okay. gas clue box. First name hydrogen. It's there. Right, right. It's there. Okay. Now, Todd, I want, I want you to do this for me. Since we need the guide numbers there, hey, mm -hmm. just take a quick glance in the book and let, help me figure out if we yeah, are. So on page 168, hydrogen cyanide, we're going to confirm that because we have hydrogen in the corrosive clue box, but we also need the the guide number 118, 123, 124, 125 to to truly confirm it as a corrosive gas. So I, I see here hydrogen cyanide guide number 117. 117. All right, yeah. 117 is not 118, right. not 123, 24, 25. Right. So, Todd, what this does is it helps us to further uh, emphasize that there's two things. First name, which we have that, right. but the guide number doesn't match. Right. So we can't stay in the first name corrosive glass red zero place. So we're going to run this one with a red one. Red one. Red All one. hazards, right? So, again, yeah. coming across, yeah. unknown, no, again, we know what it is, not sure. We're basing on what we're told, just no match, no match. So all hazards, mm -hmm. all meters coming across. So radiation, corrosivity, fluorine, flammability, toxicity, freon, tube they, chip, KI paper, yes, 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 and yes. They all check. Which goes along with our bubble line <clears throat> prediction, yes right, on everything. Right, And we're, we're, we're predicting fire for this red one, right, as our potential hazard. Sure, we got yeah. the X and the LEO aspect of things. Yeah, so our initial sure. level of in, initial gear would be first thing in the in the yeah. rescon, uh, rescue recon is turnout gear. Right. And even in plumbing identifier, first suggestion, recommendation, consideration. Right. Turnout gear. Which seems almost counterintuitive in dealing with hydrogen cyanide. Well, yeah. Right. But again, yeah. let's do what we always do. Yeah. Go to let's, the book let's dig and, deep. and the meters. That's and the meters. Let's, yeah. Let's, uh, let's answer these questions. All right. So, Todd, I'm going I'm to go through here, chart seven here, okay. left-hand side, chart okay. seven in the properties. Okay. So, above the line, took us a prediction of a gas. What we got? Well, so the physical description says colorless or pale blue liquid. Liquid, liquid. Or okay. gas above 78 degrees Fahrenheit. All right. So, what, what's our temperature we're running here today? So, here in Perry, Georgia today, the outside temperature is about 70 degrees itself, right about 70. Okay. So here we're going to see it as a liquid. Okay. Right? Just, okay. just below its boiling point. Okay. <clears throat> now. So liquid with some quite a bit of vapors coming off of it, though. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. 
All right, vapor pressure, we predicted yes. VP, vapor pressure, vapor production. How yes. many vapors? So our off vapor this? production here is 630 millimeters of mercury. Now keep in mind, this number is representing the vapor pressure of this product at 68 degrees Fahrenheit. That's standard temperature and pressure. Okay. Today, now that's that's the vapor pressure at 68 Fahrenheit. At 70, it's going to be just a little bit more. A little bit more. So yeah. close. It's, 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 and, and Todd, just as a reference here, it's still looking on, on chart <laughs> 7, under the vapor pressure stuff, it tells me gases are greater than 760. So what's right. our number? 630? 630. 630. Yeah. So look, we're not at 760, right. but we're up there in the neighborhood of. So that right. tells me if this is a liquid, there's some vapors coming Lots off of Lots of vapors coming okay. out of it. So it might now be coming to get us. It doesn't tell us if they rise or they sink. It just tells us there's a bunch of vapors coming out. All right. Right. And Which, so you, ironically, you, Todd, yeah. you took me to the next thing. Yeah. All right, we predict heavier than how air. that works. Isn't yeah, it? It's amazing. <laughs> Vapor's heavier than air. So the molecular weight lists as 27. The air is 29. 27, 29. Yeah. So, look, we're just taking the test. It's lighter. Yeah, just but slightly lighter than it's, so it's, it's, yeah. it's in here. Yeah. It's in here. Yeah. All right, toxicity. So we look for toxicity under IDLH and under NIOSH REL. So we have a IDLH of 50 ppms. And bearing in mind, we always think about IDLH as inhalation. Hazard. So if I wear an air pack, I'm in good shape. Uh, we also got to consider, especially for the the the, uh, the the firefighters who are using these their sensors out there, these the sensors alarm at the NIOSH REL of 4.7 or probably 5, probably five ppms. Five. Yeah. So just to remind people that there are some alarm values. And you know, you bring up a good point because a lot of fire departments in the last couple of years have you know been been taught about the issues of hydrogen cyanide at a building fire. So there are departments out there that already have these instruments Absolutely. with that sensor in there. Absolutely. So look, yep. first in unit, if they got the multi-gas meter, yeah. we might have a unit that in addition to the standard things we asked for, they might have an HEM they, sensor they, in yeah, it. They, and if they do, that's yeah. bingo for this yeah. call. Yeah, absolutely. And that works out very well for All us. All right, so we got the toxicity thing. Now, in our chart for the red one, chart three said PID was a yes. So it does have an IP, but it is 13.6. That's more than 10.6. So, more than 10, 6. so the old light bulb won't make the electrons jump off of it. Our, nope. So we could have a million parts per million. And with a 10.6 bulb, zero. zero. Yep, yep. How about the FID? FID. Now, we, we consistently talk about the carbon and hydrogen in the formula. And, mm -hmm. and it's carbon and hydrogen in the formula that allow us to use the FID to work here. You're going to see hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen in the formula. HCN. Now, for the hazmat nerds, and, 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 and I readily admit that I'm a hazmat nerd, I know that the cyanide is a carbon triple bond to a nitrogen. Wow. That's, That's cool. Deep, man. That's cool stuff, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, but I don't see a triple bond. Therapy's you just help, know that, though. Therapy's helping me. Really? Yeah, so this hydrogen is, is bonded to that, that ion right there. It's, this is not an FID friendly material. We're going to okay. need an electrochemical sensor or a specific Which tube. Which again, fire department's been going yep. down this road, so maybe we got the HEN sensor, so exactly we could right. tell yep. yes yep. or no if you've got that sensor. That's right. Cool. All That's right. right. Flammability, we predicted yes. <clears throat> well, so this one had, has an LEO. And yeah. how, what, what is that LEO? 5.6%. Okay, so it takes a little bit. It yeah. takes a little yeah. bit. Yeah. All right. Now, since you told me it's a liquid, Yep. Let's go with the flashpoint. Yeah. We got a flashpoint? We do. It's zero degrees Fahrenheit. So you told me 60, 70 degrees outside, warmer. Mm -hmm. We're above that. Yeah. I'm not surprised yeah. if I get an LE road. In fact, I'm surprised if I don't get one. Exactly right. Okay. Yeah. And let's, let's make a prediction on how far away from the leak source do you think you would get that with a vapor pressure of 630 millimeters of mercury? It, you could be pretty far away to get some uh, there again, some low readings, right? so slight gentle breeze blowing towards you, all yeah. that. So yeah. we don't have to get up on it nope. to tell if it's, it's there or not. That's all right. right. Let's go corrosivity. So the name here. We predicted acid. We, we predicted acid. And in the name, we have hydrogen cyanide. And it's not a corrosive gas. Because it's 117. 117. But it tells us right here. It is often used as a 96% solution in water. 
And if it's some some of the synonyms that you see associated with this are hydrocyanic acid. Hydrocyanic or, what? Acid. Acid. Or prussic acid. That's two acids. Yeah. I'm so going with that. I think pH turns I'm going, red I'm going, in I'm the I'm liquid. Betting, I'm betting, yeah. and it may be above the liquid. Yeah. Vapor's coming yeah. off of it. Yeah. Okay, so corrosivity is yes. Mm -hmm. All right, where I talked about the DOT numbers, we looked at the beginning. Mm -hmm. You reviewed the formula HCN. I didn't hear an F in HCN, mm -hmm. so the fluorine goes away. Right. Okay, we're still bringing the paper because look, we're going to the plating facility. Who knows what else they got exactly going on there, right? right? Yeah. No surprises. All right, we got a crazy chemical here. Does the polymerized stuff? Talk so, to me. How so, about we got a formula? An equal? You said triple bond. Uh, yeah, that's and you just know that. That's right, not yeah, in this yeah, edition just, of the book. That was a class I took many years ago. Cool. I'm, sure, I'm still trying What's to get triple over. bond mean? Trip. Well, a carbon to carbon triple bond is an explosive material. Okay. This is a carbon to nitrogen triple bond, and that's this is a cyanide. Different stuff. This is a the cyanide. Okay, right. cool. Bottom line is we don't have a double bond. We don't have a double bond okay. in the formula. And we don't have a P next to the guide numbers, but here's an interesting note in the incompatibility box. Under note, can polymerize at 122 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. So bring the temp gun. Okay. If the temperature of the spill is, if it's moving up, the chances are really good that it may be polymerizing so due to its if, heated. If we ran this call on a warmer day, when that product's up there, maybe the reason this stuff's leaking is because of that. Yeah, could be. Tim Gunn's telling yeah. us, container could getting be. hotter for no reason. Right. Pay could attention be. to right. that. Or in uh, the process somewhere, maybe some type of reaction happening. All right, how about the water and air reactivity? So um, under the incompatibility reactivities box, um, it's just basically telling us you know, that this stuff doesn't really like a few things, such as the amines, oxidizers, acids, sodium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide, sodium carb, a lot of basic materials here, caustics and ammonia. So again, it's an acid. It's going to react with base materials. Hey, since we're talking about the water, what's you got a solubility answer it for? It does me? have a solubility. It's miscible. I mean, it's this. infinitely in water. Okay. Right. So if we went in and we had an LEO or a corrosivity change on our pH, we could maybe throw that fog stream up in the air to grab yeah. that stuff mm -hmm. and take it from being the vapors or the gas. Mm -hmm. down to the ground. That That's certainly a possibility. And then we got to think about the runoff and all that, but yeah. that's a tactic, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, how about radioactivity? 161 uh, guides, through 166? Yeah, the guides are 117 right. as anhydrous and guide 154 as in solution. So it's not 161 through 166. Nor is it 112, 13, or 14. No, no. All right, so summing it up, we got Hydrogen cyanide, mm -hmm. synonyms, trade names, both of them have acid at the end. Yep. So we've got a liquid that gives off quite a few vapors. Yes. It's a flammability potential, obviously mm -hmm. toxicity, mm -hmm. and a corrosivity specifically on the acids. Right, right. Meter-wise, LEL's a yes, yes. probably. Yes. PID's yep. a no. Yep. If the sensor has an HCN, which again, we talked about this about the fourth time in this video, yeah. fire department's having that. And right. let's, let's talk about that real quick and then we'll, then we'll wrap this one up. The reason people <clears throat> carry those is they've understood that this hydrogen cyanide is not only present at the old hazmat event, but mm -hmm. it's one of the toxic products of combustion. Yep. Sensing it there, and a lot mm -hmm. of departments are carrying those uh, HCN, uh, HCN. hydrocyanic kits. Or, so, so they're carrying the cyano kits. So a lot yes. of a lot of departments are recognizing their hazard there. They're carrying those mm -hmm. uh, hydrocyano kits or mm -hmm. whatever whatever they're called or whatever. So mm -hmm. we've not only do we have this incident on a hazmat event, but we could have this product at the old building. Absolutely which is something worth pointing out. This is toxic long before you'll see flammability. And just history-wise, yeah. that, that was the old gas chamber stuff, yes, right? Yes, yes. Why'd they use the gas chamber? I think product? it was pretty effective. Okay. I think it was pretty effective. Cool. All right, speaking of effective, I'm saying that's what this video was. What do you think? I think we effectively covered the information. All right. We and done? Uh, we, we done? What do you think? Yes, sir. It's a wrap. Yeah, it's a wrap. Todd Milton signed out. Thank, Thank you. Come back next month.